Here's yet another recipe it comes to us courtesy of Reed Drummond from the Pioneer one. It's rustic strawberry tart with sweet and whipped cream. It, it takes one hour. Plus the cooling time. Active 30 minutes, serve six. You need four cups of strawberries halved, a half a cup of granulated white sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose oil plus more for dusting your work surface, a teaspoon of lemon extract, one teaspoon of lemon zest, a teaspoon of lemon juice, two store-bought pie dough crusts, thawed if they're frozen, of course, one large egg, a tablespoon of water plus a splash, one-third of a cup of apricot preserves, sweet and whipped cream for the serving recipe follows. You need a cup of heavy cream and one teaspoon of granulated white sugar. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees, add the strawberry soup along with the sugar, flour, vanilla extract, lemon juice, lemon zest, and lemon juice. And toss together until well combined. Set aside while you prepare the crust. Lightly follow your work surface so the crust doesn't stick. Unroll the pie crust and lay one on the other, overlapping about halfway, using a rolling pin, and roll the crust in the center and join them together, and to spread them out slightly. It should be about 19 inches by 11 inches on a, and fit on a sheet pan. Use a knife to round the top and bottom edges slightly, and along the sides to neaten up the edges. No more than a half inch of dough should be cut away. Discard the extra dough. Transfer to a parchment lined sheet pan. Spoil the strawberry mixture to the center. Center of the dough. Leaving a one inch board around all sides. Be sure they aren't too mounted so they bake evenly in the oven. Working carefully, fold edges of the dough up and over the strawberries, pleating them as you go. In a small bowl, whisk the egg and one tablespoon of water together. Use a pastry brush to lightly coat only the full edge of the dough. Place a sheet pan into the oven and bake the tart for 30 minutes. Rotate the pan halfway through the bake to make sure it bakes evenly. While it is baking, heat the apricot preserves in a small pan with a splash of water until warmed through. When the crust is gold brown, remove it from the oven, brush the strawberries gently with warmed apricot preserves, and cool completely before cutting and serving with a sweetened whipped cream. It yields one and a half cups with a whisk. <clears throat> A handheld mixer or stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment. Whip the heavy cream and sugar until it has formed soft peaks. And that is your rustic strawberry tart and sweetened whipped cream. A nice, tasty dessert. All the fresh strawberries. It's all, it all comes together very well. It really does. So if you're trying to find a good strawberry dessert recipe, I think you found it. You really, you've really found it. It's rustic strawberry tart and sweet and whipped cream. Well, I'm on the foodnetwork.com. Look for this recipe, and you can make it any time you'd like. So that's it, and I'm going to be back for one more recipe, so don't go away.